The last general election was held under the shadow of the military dictatorship that came to power four years earlier. Gesti Tiamon believes that the upcoming one will mark a new beginning of Thai politics. Four years ago, I think the narrative then mm. is either you choose one camp or the other. Okay. The I country was very, so polarized back then. Yeah. Very divisive. Okay. But only two camps. Okay. Uh, four years on, I think uh, that time one side is a known quantity, the other side is not yet quite known. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This time around, both sides are known quantity. Okay. Uh, right. Compared to four years ago. <laughs> now, uh, all political parties is now turning the campaign mode on, mm. meaning they're ready to propose or send a message to the okay. voters uh, as to what they can do or what they would do mm. or what they wish to do okay. for the voters mm. according to various demographics. Okay? Oh, all right. uh, this time is very different because that time, as I mentioned earlier, is only two sides. Okay. This time you have a lot of suggestion, even though some might say, well, with the authority of the Senate, there still be two sides. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I would say only a year. Okay. And things will change. If anyone has doubts about how ready the Democrat Party is in charging into the upcoming election, this newly released campaign music video is probably the answer. <laughs> Yet believes that its catchy rhythm and rousing lyrics reflect every confidence that the party has in its performance in this election. But you know, it, this is like the, the, the most symbolic action mm. is Kun Chuan hitting the drum. Uh, uh. It's, uh, it's time. Okay. It's, uh, it's, war drum. <laughs> well, that drum is uh, like a war drum, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's a campaign time mm. and uh, change the mode altogether of okay. how political party. Uh, act or relate to people mm -hmm. and uh, th that's only a, a, a very different kind of presentation mm. uh, hopefully people like it okay and uh, so far the, <laughs> the the response has been positive all right but yeah. the key message is that we're ready mm -hmm. we have throughout generations we have old and new we have veteran and also new faces nice. that would join the party in the camp in upcoming campaign mm -hmm. as candidates and also those who has been involved in putting together okay. the, the, the policy that would address the uh, challenges of all the people of all kinds, of mm -hmm. all groups. Okay. That's the message. But the upbeat mood in the music video can barely hide the predicaments the party is facing. A string of defection by its veterans, a crisis of confidence in its leadership, and how its traditional stronghold in the South is under threat. What's going on? Mm. I think you must also admit the fact that this thing happened to all parties, not just Democrat Party. Mm. And this is one of the reasons why we didn't uh, campaign for the mm. Constitution of 2560. Mm. Okay? We see this coming. Because of special provision, because of the way it was put together, mm. we saw that we can see even then that something bad would happen mm. to all political parties. Mm. And we are now witnessing. Mm. Look at all parties, not just us. Okay? Okay. Oh, hit, oh, hit, oh, hit with defections. Yeah. Uh, everyone just moving camps. Mm. And, and some for good reason and some for bad reasons, okay. uh, depending on the person. Uh, so what about values? What about principle? Mm. I think we, we, the people, and also the media, have to play a role in demanding. Right. Why don't you go interview those who move camp? Under the leadership of former Prime Minister Apisit Vejachiwa, the Democrat Party lost many of its supporters in the last election because of what was seen as its wavering political stand. What would it take to win back these votes? I think several things. The people make decisions based on the benefit that they received mm -hmm. in the past few years. Okay, so clearly, without uh, 
income support program mm. for agricultural products, uh, people wouldn't be able to go through okay. mm. uh, the difficulties of the COVID-19. Okay, so we have at least five million families. Mm. Okay, of farming community, or half of the population of Thailand that benefited okay. from the income support program. Mm. So you think this one this is one of the areas that Democrat has been more successful, and we have shown mm. that we have done it. Okay. We can do it. Uh, secondly, uh, during the time of uh, of high energy prices, uh, Ministry of Commerce has been working hard mm. to make sure that the price is under control. So the consumable product uh, has been far better mm. in terms of if you compare that to many other countries who have experienced the same uh, challenge from inflation, mm -hmm. uh, high energy price. We have done not too bad. We could have done better, mm -hmm. but it's not too bad. So people appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. the uh, the Tongfa okay. uh, program very much involved with the uh, Commerce Ministry. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that people can have access to to affordable uh, consumable items. Okay. Gear emphasizes that foreign policy is high on the agenda of his party. He wants to see a more active Thai diplomacy and Thailand as a member of international community with dignity. I think you know very well that Thailand as a small to medium-sized country and economy, we have to strike the balance. Mm -hmm. We can afford, we cannot afford to take sides, to choose sides. Uh, in the world of, of superpower fighting mm -hmm. against each other or one another, you have to even be more careful. But Thailand, I, I, I emphasize, Thailand can be a member of international community with dignity.